with my shit today. I'm on a day job. I work for a company called Project 110. Fix the PC is my side business. That's what I'm doing my YouTube videos with. And the news aggregation and tutorials, etc. etc. I also do uh, just side jobs like you know, networking job rates, etc. Anyway, so I decided to do a quick vlog here. That's my bird. She's on my shoulder right now. She's still in training. Um, anyway, so what's going on here is we are working on a data destruction software called Distler. And right now I'm testing the PXC functionality of it. So essentially what's happening here is I'm going ahead and I'm configuring the PXC for legacy boot. And I'm making sure it's the primary boot device. I turn on the server, let it boot over the network. The drives will start wiping. Once they finish, the certificate is redeployed over the network back to the main server in the server room. Uh, when that happens, uh, essentially I have to go through like, well, there's like 300, around 300 servers. I have to get them, at least attempt to get them done by the end of this week, which actually shouldn't be that hard. As long as I stay on the, the ball. Uh, so, the idea of this software is whenever companies get their upgrade and they're redeploying servers into their network, and they have to do something with their old equipment, and they need to make sure, uh, they can prove that they destroyed the data on it. Um, so, what this does is this is just making sure everything is certified destroyed. So it goes through once all the hard drives are wiped, it collects the serial number, the serial number of the motherboard, the memory, the specs of the system, and it writes it all to the software and documents it. So the idea is to eventually be able to go inside a, a large network, um, PXC boot that network, to the disk striping software and it will take down that network and certify data destroy it that way that company has documentation um, so you know it's part of the recycling business um, and being able to prove that data is destroyed and have it documented is a very important uh, to a company especially if they want to have proof that hey you know, if they're like maybe under the, they're under HIPAA regulation, they want to make sure the data is destroyed properly, and they don't want to get sued. So they have that documentation to say, "Hey, your data has been destroyed. We're not at fault." So that's what I'm doing. So right now, I'm in just the PXC menu. I'm just doing some basic configurations here. Uh, like I said, just making sure it's set to legacy boot, and pretty much go around here. Um, so it's set to legacy. Make sure the primary boot device is network, and it is a little buggy from time to time when it comes to booting. Uh, sometimes the PXC boot times out, so we're working on some of that right now. It's, other than that, this software is just not flawless. In fact, even if the connection's off, so it'll still wipe the drives. They attempt to send it over the network as soon as that connection is reestablished. So I'm just going to save changes here. Now, PXC, like I said, is buggy sometimes. It actually, the bugginess sometimes comes from the hardware. Uh, something I noticed with these is uh, on some of these servers, depending on the BIOS version, you actually have to set a PXC retry uh, boot count of at least two. Otherwise, it skips the process in general. Never really seen that before, but you know, some of the stuff isn't perfect, so you have to like play with it a little bit and learn how to work around it. Yeah, so it's just quick vlog. Um, Ronald, who's making all the noise right there? It's Peggy. As you can see, she, she likes to talk a lot. Uh, she's not my old bird cheetah, but she is very, very intelligent. Um, and she knows she's on camera. I've kind of taken some videos and then re her on the computer, and I think she's understanding that the video is coming from the phone and it can come up on the monitor later. So she's learning, she's in training, she's just a two-year-old, still trying to figure out what's going on in the world, I guess she does like to cry, and, and bite sometimes, so. Yeah, so, I'm something to just process these dogs, you can see, it is saving five, 
we're running this. These are all Epic systems, believe it or not. And these are all the new YouTube NVMe SAS drive. Oh, which are your company? It's kind of fun, but I, I actually can't disclose that information. No. Yeah, she's happy at me right now. There you go, we got a PX evening coming up. Now, the problem I have when I haven't set the uh, retry count yet, you just skip it like that. I don't want to attempt it at all. So, when you set the retry count, what happens is for my analysis, it goes on that screen and then it attempts it again, and by the second time, it should actually start moving. See, that was a bug with the BIOS I discovered. Um, unless that was the first NIC, but I don't think it was. But it did. I had. It, I have noticed for some of the servers they actually skip it, so we have to set that retry thing. And I think it's a bug because not all of them do it. it just some of them do. So as you can see, I found the PXC, and this is the problem I'm working on right now. We've got a developer. Sometimes there is a bit of delay. This process should actually go faster. This would actually pull up pretty quick. So this one's this one's going good. This one's going good. Okay, and it looks like this one is starting without much of an issue. So looks like right now we have one drive weapon. It's still starting. Oh no, I just get one drive. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten drives, then maybe another one or two internal M2 NVMe drives. So yeah, waiting for it to be full copy, then to be full copy. As you can see here, they are all blinking. So all these drives are now wiping. Uh, when they wipe, they wipe locally on the actual server. And then whenever they finish wiping, then they deploy that certificate over the network. So the wiping is not being done over the network, so there's not much load over the PXC. Uh, the main load is coming from the kernel. So the kernel has all the drivers. So what I did with the kernel, the Linux kernel, is I built in uh, the most common network uh, drivers and the uh, hard drive controller drivers. And I'm trying to keep the kernel as light as possible. I did try and make all uh, config on the kernel and then took the obvious ones off we didn't need but that was putting a lot of strain on the network and we started booting a few of these things up at the same time the network sometimes would take about uh, five minutes to actually just load the kernel at about 100 megabytes a second which is you know we started at one GB network speed so yeah as you can see it's working we're good to go there and then just the processes I'm going to the next server and the next server and the next server uh, these YouTube drives go really Quick. So these right now that are in here are uh, one terabytes. That's like 960. Uh, some of them did have some, and then there's some with 1.2s, and then there's some with 3.2s, and they actually go good pretty like really fast. It's actually pretty amazing how fast these things go on rate. I mean, all those drives should be completed in about the next five minutes. So. Or on these servers, uh, it doesn't take long at all to actually get them completed. So, I just thought it would be something that y'all like to you know, just do. Uh, some, I just thought it would be something y'all would like to see. Just a quick vlog on what I'm doing here. So, back to uh, the main office work right here. So, if you look, flip the phone around for y'all. Here's the drives that are actually wiping right now. So the drives that you saw on the servers, these are them, and then it shows the IP address. Anyway, this software is a work in progress, but it's nearing its completion finally. Uh, get these selected here. Yeah, see 960 Samsung, and then 961 terabytes, and then the 3.2s right here, which. These drives are actually surprisingly cheap, uh, and some of them are just now leaking into the used market, as y'all can see, which is actually pretty surprising since they're 3.2s. You think they wouldn't be, but there are some companies that are upgrading some bigger drives, so you can actually get these drives just because they're being some of them are being liquidated in mass. You can actually get them pretty cheap on eBay um, if you look around. Anyway, I 
I can make the company batch file for the companies. These are for the company. Bah. And right here, I can make that company batch file. Just attach the company that these drives are being certified to or destroyed for. Anyway, just a quick vlog. Show you all this software I'm working on. It's been in development for like the last two years. But 